All right. Web of the Jormungo. Jormungo. I can't. The giant spider thing. Web of the giant spider thing. Since I'm not Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. Hey, hey there's a story mode deep cut there for you. But all right, there, there's my last clip saving. You love to see it. All right, let's go. Let's let's see this. I had to backtrack for this. I decided to record. All right, let's see the overview. Wait, can I? Can I skip forward? Along with JC, uh, I had oh, to true. tag out with. All right, let's go back a little bit. Turn it up. So I can actually hear it. Right. And we are back. Uh, Hi, JC. And, and What's I'm up, my guy? Too, yeah. uh, along with JC, uh, I had a tag out with Brian just because he, he needs a bit of a break now before he comes bit, back yeah. and talk. So, uh, but uh, JC, he's okay, not getting any breaks. Sorry, he's going to be here. He's the, the tiny hand. To talk about. No uh, and I know the one thing that we really need to talk about is this this game mode, this web of... All right, let's go. Let's see. Jorogomo? Jorogomo. Jorogomo. I say it wrong. I'm like... like we Jorogomo. Okay, okay, so I'm learning, I'm I'm learning Japanese right now. now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's, that's okay. Yeah. 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 Just kidding. So okay, we, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. So I'm done. Casey, I'm done. Um, again, I'm super hyped because I think I just said the... I just told you this, but like, I have Does never seen a trailer before. Even it's on the couch. Like, I've seen it like a hundred times. I've never seen that before, so I'm really excited. It looks great. Okay, no, it doesn't work. It's great. Uh, JC, what can you tell us about it? Right, okay, so... It's super creepy. The world of the Jirogumo event, right, is... Uh, we're trying to... We're trying to tell you a little bit different now, uh, but it's... An oh, event. Emperor's we're Escape is back, low-key! variation on Emperor's Escape. We also had a one called Rescue, um, where you... Bring it back already! VIP to the end, and then fight a boss. Yeah. Now, in this little variation, the boss is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go into too much details, okay. but it's like, you know, I want to spoil the surprise. It's super cool. Gotcha. Okay, come on. There. And so the way the game works is, uh, for people that are not super familiar with it, right, it's not mm -hmm. always the most obvious thing, is uh, there's four capture points, mm -hmm. and you have a VIP that's sitting back a little bit. Uh, the VIP in this mode is Mako. So uh, okay. the hero skin that we've just seen, the Kensei there, nice. looks super amazing. And what you do as a player is you go with, like, three of your buddies, you go try to capture points. On every point, there's a mini boss that uh, deals fire damage. That's something kind of crazy there. It's super oh. dangerous. Uh, and there's other little other mm. uh, enemies there, right? So other opponents. Yeah, I prefer having you Emperor's Escape back, on the point, like proper. Uh, capture the point. Once the point is capture, uh, captured, rather, there's a gate that opens, you go to the next point, and you rinse and repeat. Now, you don't really heal there. So the way to heal is you go back to Mako in the back, yeah. who's constantly getting attacked as well. So you kind of have to adjust your strategies a little bit and go a little bit. Okay, so having forward. someone with like stalwart so banner or some or some kind of healing feat would be a good idea. Capture. Got uh, it. Miko has an AOE healing uh, like kind of pulse around her constantly yeah. to help heal people. So that's super cool. Uh, so you go healing feats would be very important, points, especially group you get healing. To the end for the big boss fight that is amazing. It's amazing, but yeah, we're not gonna not we're not gonna talk. go too much into it. Yeah, about too I, much. I, I, okay. I want I want to spoil it too much, but I, I, I better not. Um, <laughs> So, so like, like for the end fight, you know, some powerful uh, tier like fours. You, there's like a lot less stress. You're not gonna fight other players, sure. and it's single pick. Um, we yeah. really, really want to have players to have to play together, communicate, have like pick the right team composition. Ah, so right that's why you waited so long. So now we got because we got uh, the uh, the what's it? Awesome. Um, it's really, really amazing. And oh my gosh, the, the, work is the multiple things. To win the game mode, you have to control, you have to capture all the control points and then defeat the Jirogumo. Okay. And to lose, you have to lose. Now, is it soccer? That's the question. Or Mako dies. So one or the other, and you lose. Uh, it can happen at any point, including when you're defeating the Jirogumo. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. But uh, it's, a, it's a very, very, very interesting game mode. We worked super hard on it. I know, like, the animation team. Uh, and the rigging team and all Whoa. the other they made like this amazing oh, there we looking go. character. Uh, it makes Brian super scared, so I love that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's but it, it's amazing. Oh, that looks it's, so it's cool! Like if you, I think you. Uh, you yes. Yeah. I mean, okay. Yes. Yeah, so let's let's be honest. It's Why hard. conquer it's though? Hard. I, I Ooh, personally just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, have not eaten it um, in all of our uh, of our testing. Let's go. Leading up to today. And I'm really hopeful that maybe by next week when it goes live, I like this map, uh, I'll though. be able to to use our new crossplay feature to invite crossplay. That's what it's called. Platforms to come help me, because I, I think I'm going to need it. So yeah, you, you 
it's going to be kind of hard to do solo if you want to trade solo. So, yeah, so it, it, that's what's interesting too, right? Because it's PvE and we have interesting top and team composition you, you have there. A lot of people, a lot of your friends, you don't care what platform they're on. They can oh my gosh! And help you defeat that boss. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Super freaky! Really and I know, like, listen, we've oh been, man, that's so creepy! I love it. Right. Let's it go! Over and over and over again. And I'm not paying attention to anything they just said right now, like, but that one's so cool. Every single time. Yo! You get to the boss, and then sometimes, like, oh crap, somebody died. You have to go back and res <laughs> them and do all these crazy things. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's super fun. So, uh, amazing job by everybody. We're super proud of it. We can't wait for people to play it out. That sounds incredible. Absolutely incredible. And yeah, I mean, I think what the first time we even saw a mode like this was way back in year three uh, with the the, the John Yu reveal. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, bring yeah. that it's back, please. Back I, I keep saying it, but like, bring that back. That game mode was actually fun. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great game mode. Besides, it's the last and, uh, only footage I have of that game mode from, uh, had a PS4. I, I'd like to play it again for, with higher quality. It will run for three weeks. So you have three weeks to play and uh, really just get to experience. Um, yeah, come on, bring that back already! Uh, come on. Exist from there, so. Uh, I oh, that key art is so cool, though. As well. Why warden though? Uh, so. They you got hybrids and a heavy. Why they warden they will. for the key art? So, uh, but you know, you you alluded to a bit that there's uh, some more things to talk about. You know, we got some rewards. We got some special things to talk about. So we're actually going. All right, to you know, I'm gonna go people. ahead. We're gonna give you a little bit of a break. Yeah. Then I know all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this sounds like this sounds like they're done. This game mode sounds cool. Okay. So the overview, my thoughts are are this. It looks fun. It really does. Now the idea of a world boss. And uh, for honor, they haven't really done that since um, I want to say Warmonger's release was the last time they did something like this. You know, when you actually have to go in and fight. Now we're not gonna get your uh, the, the, the Spider Lady as like a like a player character uh, character that you can play as, but stuff like this is always really really cool to me. So I am very much invested. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. I, I did it too soon. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, joining me on the couch now, I have three amazing people who are going to... All right, there we uh, go. So I didn't miss anything. Good. ...about the, this, this web of the Yorgumo. Uh, I said it wrong again. I'm just going to go with it. This uh, is a game mode event for Halloween, and uh, you are going to be super interested in all this stuff. because All right, it's so this is the details. So, uh, I'm definitely going to tag this on to... Uh, uh, Julien. Uh, Vanessa and Anastasia again back to talk more about the, some more of the customization and uh, Vanessa for the animation as you all know and uh, Julian is here to share with us a bit about the game mode uh, and kind let's of let's go and, uh, Julian where would you like to start indeed well uh, th thanks for having me on the show Nolan uh, let's start off with the, the game mode so JC just got a bit into the details of the game mode mm -hmm. um, if we want to do a, a bit of more of a deep dive into you know producing this game mode well first off you know, making this game mode was definitely a testament to how the For Honor team um, is able to stick together uh, and reach a common goal. So, awesome teamwork on that front. Um, there, there were some challenges, definitely, mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, the passion for the game just prevailed, and the end result. Let's go! You love to see it. We're happy with the end result, and we've got this really one of a kind uh, uh, game mode that we're super excited to be sharing. Yeah, bring back Emperor's so Escape. We keep a saying that. <laughs> What was the initial idea, initial design b behind the, yeah. the game mode? So essentially the goal here was to create um, an experience that is essentially a boss stage type experience. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was really what we, we, we pushed for. Um, the, the, what was very important for the game design team was to have a difficulty that was progressing along the, uh, along the game mode. So as you well, progress... It progresses. It progresses. It definitely progresses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and so okay. they did an okay. amazing job of just balancing that experiencing and making for I may not do a reaction to the patch notes but if I do that'll be a separate video as the team progresses we'll need to work more and more together um, to to uh, be successful and to defeat the Joragumo Joragumo definitely well, that's okay, cool. I'll and get I'll get that by next so week don't worry about the mode itself but uh, there's also like uh, you saw it a bit in the trailer, but the map itself, the Market Town, I believe, right? A ton of work went into... Uh, to, to yeah, Market to Town. That, that, that's actually a very nice for, variation. Uh, I'd like to see that come st stick little around little for a little bit that. while, while yeah, here. So, Nolan, you know, it's, it's Halloween. It is so Halloween. Yeah. It's Halloween. So, um, this so is essentially, Halloween. the this team is saw it Halloween. as a, you know, an opportunity to kind of break free a bit from um, the more realistic fantasy and, and dive a bit more into the fantastical fanta uh, fantasy things. Mm -hmm. Um, the the yokai mm -hmm. folklore that we you know we got into T1 
Anastasia has been, been giving us more, more de details on that. It's definitely fertile ground for coming up with a creature right. that's going to be, that's going to make for the ultimate showdown, essentially. Mm -hmm. So we definitely, uh, you know, wanted to leverage that potential uh, mm -hmm. and essentially expand our, our, our mm -hmm. horizons creatively. So okay, interesting. Definitely interesting. went for that. Um, and so for the, you know, without, without spoiling too much, um, the, what you're seeing in Market Town, uh, the, the map where we've got the game going, is, is mm -hmm. essentially the result of what's been brewing uh, in, in Temple Garden map since TU1. And, okay. and by the way, there, you know, there's a nod to that transition and that evolution in Temple Garden in TU2. Ah, okay. Look at that. So players can go back to Temple Garden now when TU2 goes live and see little little hints. Ch yeah, check it out. But but uh, essentially, um, you know, the yokai have hatched, uh, and now they've they've fully taken over a uh, market town map. Um, and so the the map dressing, map realization, um, mm -hmm. the, the way that we wanted to dress everything up is kind of in tone yeah, with, no, this is uh, so with cool. the game design and essentially building that crescendo uh, as you progress. Same thing goes for, for all oh, the music. Spiders. Uh, you'll, Creepy. You'll really get to experience this, um, this ascending uh, experience as you progress through the map. That's so freaky. Aliens I love it. It's definitely rooted into horror. It's dark. It's yeah, like, foggy. Like what the heck is that? Definitely, something is definitely, uh, 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 it, it's an array. Uh, uh, Nolan, something is definitely up. Well, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah, something's definitely up. Are those eyes following you? Is that freaking spider webs over? Up. So there? I'll, I'll, oh I'll get I'll get right into that. So per perhaps you know to kind of take you through a guided tour okay, of, of right. the map. Please, so please. as you as you start off, uh, you'll you'll start by encountering some uh, oni bees. These are are kind of uh, spirit uh, entities. They're uh, wisps of light that float around in the map. Mm -hmm. You also okay. have uh, the yure, which are the essentially ghost entities. They were present in TU1 uh, in, in Temple Garden. In TU2, mm -hmm. we've got uh, uh, cool new variations of those. My personal favorite is they're, they're spooky looking. They're really cool. Um, yeah. And, and then a bit, of a bit of a spoiler, we do have somewhere in the beginning of a map, Demon Donkey. Demon Donkey is happening. What? Let's go! Let's go! Leave a like for the Demon <laughs> Donkey, yo. Nobody was spared, Nolan. Nobody was demon spared. Donkey. Nobody was spared. My gosh. So... I'm mean, gonna have to find the it. Demon donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Call to action. There. <laughs> find the demon donkey. Find the demon donkey. Um, middle of the map, things get a bit funkier. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They're already pretty funky, but things get even more funky. You escalate from demon donkey. Yeah. Okay, all right. right. <laughs> We're getting now. Now objects are, are are possessed. We've got some flying lanterns. We've got. Oh boy. Uh, we've got lanterns that are are uh, kind of uh, moving around a bit. The, oh, wow. the mural that you've just seen, which is Takiyasha, the witch, and the skeleton specter. Three for three, you got it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Not yeah, those first. eyes are definitely yeah. following you. Creepy. Creepy. You know, we just are staring lot, at you. So happy creepy, you creepy, creepy. Staring at you. Uh, and and uh, what's really cool is that you've got some small creepy crawlers that you've, you've seen earlier on. I did see them. The, the creepy crawlers, those mm -hmm. are friendly. Well, that's cool. That's, that's to give you a little you bit of a friendlies. breather. We yeah. got some friendlies in there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 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 Palate cleanser on that. Sure. Um, sure. And, and then, kind of a, a, a you know a exclusive. There will be some exclusive rewards oh. for this uh, this okay. game mode, uh, and the creepy crawlers uh, are essentially we base off these rewards off of those creepy crawlers. So those are gonna be really cool. Great. Yes, the resistance. Of course. Your mm -hmm. your your. Finishing off with the Jurogumo, of course. Of course. Um, she is half human, half uh, arachnid type of creature. Mm -hmm. uh, she's terrifying, yet beautiful at the same time. If uh -huh, you're able to get close out. to her, uh, you'll see a bunch of small and fine details that are, are absolutely amazing. So the team did a great job. Yeah, uh, so on, creepy. On I love it. Jurogumo. Um, and I know Lady Dibbick's not going to like it at all. Yeah. She doesn't so, like spiders. Um, so so <laughs> she's probably not going to be able to watch this. She's awesome. Or yeah. when I stream it next one week. One final thing, uh, Nolan, okay. is that uh, in TU1 I mentioned that there were uh, there were Kappa present. So they're, they're, they're yeah. cucumber, entrail-loving, reptilian humanoids. Oh, hello. So, so these, I mentioned... These fine people here, yeah. Yeah, I mentioned that they could either be friendly or foes to, to humans. Uh, well, so you know, where do we land on that? Well, in Market Town, I think you'll, you'll find out pretty quickly that they're, they're looking to make cucumber salad out of you. So you'll need to mind them as well as you're you're progressing through them. Oh joy! Do this, man. You got the demon donkeys. You got like, <laughs> the turtle colony. We got. We this got is the, so cool, though. Turtle demons. 
It's the giving season. Creepy turtles. It's Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is the giving season. Ninja it's Turtles, the dark side. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, absolutely incredible. Uh, wow, that's yeah, so cool. So much, so much going on there. Again, look for the demon donkey. Uh, but you know, when we when we talk about that that piece, though, you know, the uh, the crescendo that is that Yogamo. Uh, you know, you saw it a bit in the trailer. There's a lot of work that went into that. And I think man, I'm d I'm definitely going to enjoy the crap sure out of this game mode. That man, guys, in creating this definitely tune in for that one. Terrifying monstrosity that we're about to, to throw at our at our community next week. Yeah, uh, that, that's oh no, that's tonight. That's pretty the ladies new. Have we never like did a now. big creature like that before. I mean, with Kevin, and everybody got inspired because Kevin was there. Mm -hmm. Given the wyvern doing doing his thing. Not oh, the wyvern, right? A wyvern. wyvern, but we wanted to. Everybody wanted to interact with him, right? At some point, so uh, we took it to the next level with Jorobumo, and mm -hmm. yeah, that was a challenge. <laughs> that was surely a challenge for the, the team, hmm. and uh, let's see. We managed to do it. So uh, what's yeah. next? I don't know, but this one, th that was that was a fun one to do for sure. Well, yeah, it's. I mean, it's it. Looks incredible, like absolutely, uh, and yeah, I mean, stepping up. Ah! Uh, Kevin the Wyvern. Is oh, sheesh! That's yeah, freaky. I love like. it. And, uh, can you tell us a bit more about like some of the animations? Yes. What went into so, making that? So, uh, as usual, we go to mocap, and uh, <laughs> okay. she gets fair. We get, went to mocap for the Jurugumo. So you see the animation. Uh, the animation, the mocap process happened a lot like early in the process of uh, realization. So at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we didn't have the final Kyoshin. model for the for the Jurugumo itself, so we didn't know exactly what she will look like. Mm -hmm. So, but the actor were like willing to just give it a try, right? So we're trying to get into the no, movie. Uh, that looks so creepy with Kyoshin. That, um, they're put on the Kyoshin, but uh, you will see it in the face off actually, and it worked, it worked pretty well. I mean, we had to like uh, push it like the upper body a little bit, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that, the vibe is really there, so uh, yeah, that was cool. But I have more video as well uh, on the whip process, so yeah. work in progress oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> oh, so that's one creepy. One challenge was to find reference, because I'm like Brian, I don't like spiders, but the animation team were just like, we have to share video of reference to just get into it and deliver like quality work and Ugh, that was my, my algorithm like YouTube, like oh, I got filming. spider ads for oh, a no. week. <laughs> I hated it. There's spider but ads. I mean, I, I'm, I not surprised. I'm not surprised. That was just terrible. As well. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's so and freaky. The, I love so it. Yeah, so you can see um, the... Um, wow. We work in Motion Builder usually, so that's the tool uh, for the animation team. But for this uh, specific like rig and character, we had to use 3ds Max. So uh, it's an animation oh, tool. Wow. We we can use it. Whoa! But look at all, all the masks all and stuff the, on the, the back. The fine tuning like tool that we usually have. So it was quite challenging to do. Like, Jeez, really, that's so like, freaky. Was, uh, oh, I love it. I forgot the detail. It's, it, I love. I can I can like talk about it for like an hour, but that was pretty uh, insane to do. But Jeez, really the, cool. just we the movement. Oh my gosh, dude! I love it. Model of the. The Jurubumo, like some part that maybe like changed whatever along the way. At this point, we didn't know. Oh, like, the, even the small. The, oh my gosh, the, it's, the, I, I can literally just gush about this all day long. Was at, the, at this point, so uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that was pretty cool. It's it's really mechanical to to do, but it yeah. was uh, creepy and cool at the same time. But creepy uh, and cool. It, creepy and cool. yeah, that's it. And the uh, animating something really big as well, like as a scale, like for a player. Uh, that was challenging, first time doing that, so that was cool. Oh, and, uh, so creepy. Bonus as well, like the actors were so into it. Mm -hmm. uh, we were like, well, they're going to have spider web in the map, probably, because that's like... Of course, yeah. Yeah, team of the stuff, so we asked the actor to uh, get stuck and... <laughs> 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 no, what is that fourth like, one? Get, for sure, for sure, some minion, like, they're going to lose and like just get stuck. And uh, so we did that really early on, and it really paid off because it mm -hmm. dressed the map Really Poor well, Highlander. I'm, like, I'm sorry for, for them. <laughs> but the, the mocap shoot was so funny because mm -hmm. um, it, it, like, it, the, it sounds like they're stuck in webs, but the, the actor were so into it, they were screaming when they were shooting, like, wow, like, really, like, oh to my get gosh. into, you know, the, the, the motion into it, huh? but we were, like, laughing, so uh, it was really All in good fun, all in good fun. For sure, and it dressed them up. Just, just the, the life of a mocap artist to to be told you know one day hey you have to mocap a giant spider demon and also get stuck in a web and get eaten by that spider <laughs> demon too and just all in the same day like it's it's, in, it's in, oh my incredible. gosh man yeah, what the crap of, uh, that's amazing and creepy i love it all in the day's work all in the day's work <laughs> all in the day's work so 
Well, that's that's super cool. It looks amazing. And again, like all that is still just work in progress stuff. It's not even like the the final results. And and I think you know really, mm -hmm. I think the community needs to understand that mm -hmm. I, Vanessa and her team of animators for you went and looked up creepy videos of spiders to hand animate this thing and it uh -huh. looks incredible and i am so sorry you had to do that i don't think i could have done that uh, i'm pretty sure brian <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't either. have been in the same no. room while you yeah, were doing no, no. that nope yeah that's definitely I video i didn't like it so no. so but the, the the good thing is like we don't have yeah to well, have lady difficult doesn't like spiders, spiders at all so yeah, She's gonna opt out of could, this could, uh, out of this one. Do you have mocap to real? I don't know. I don't know if we can do that. Just but really I small I little mocap, oh you know, God. like sensors on Ugh. it. Just really small. I don't want to think about it. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not. Let's not. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I'm not a real spider. Please. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. No. I don't think it. Well, I don't think a lot of people uh, are. Again, looks I mean, amazing. I mean, I don't. Cool I wouldn't mind it. I mean, pet. You know, pet tarantula, right? Anastasia too. I know some work went into. Obviously, it's a game mode event. We got Halloween. It's going for three weeks. There's going to be a free event pass running the same time. Uh, oh, okay. Let's really see it. Cool new assets into that, and uh, Stasia, can you share Maybe? with us uh, what went into the assets? And all right, oh, come yes. on. Yeah, sure. let's see. So uh, for this free event pass, uh, we have uh, wonderful things um, that we want to present you, and uh, mm. they are uh, exactly these ones are dedicated to a kappa. Uh, nice, it's, nice. Uh, our Beloved creatures that really <laughs> love cucumbers, and uh, they can be friendly, can be not. So be careful. Can we blame <laughs> Julian that they're not? <laughs> 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 you need to feed them. Uh, <laughs> Julian should feed the oh, cucumbers. Excuse me. Not enough cucumbers. This, is, about the sniffles, guys. this is what happened. Um, <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that looks cool, so, so actually. They're living in the uh, ponds. Um, and that looks really cool, actually. So I don't mind it. Cool uh, here. Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, everything uh, that we created for this season uh, that was actually looks really united nice. with this uh, Japanese theme. Mm -hmm. um, and looks every cool. single piece was uh, created with the respect of uh, Japanese culture. Uh, we used like, a lot of uh, things from Japanese folklore, mm -hmm, all these mm -hmm. demons, and uh, even anime, you'll find some something interesting. And uh, even though some mm -hmm. might look pretty funny, <laughs> but some of them are really, really scary. So enjoy. Oh <laughs> boy. And uh, but that's not all, though, right? Uh, no. We actually have beyond just the, oh, more. the event pass, which again you can you can earn the progress the event pass just like any other one by playing any modes. It's just like you know battle pass points. But we actually have unique assets just for the uh, the game mode, right? Just oh really? The Orgamo game mode. Uh, Yorgamo. Tell us a bit about those. Yeah, sure. Jorogumo. So we have two ornaments. <gasps> oh my um, gosh. Oh, that's one creepy. One is uh, like regular one. Mm -hmm. You'll get it uh, if you find the strength to go there and fight Jorogumo. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my gosh, that's even freakier. I love it. Have enough skills and a lot of luck, and you defeat her. You'll get this uh, wonderful. Uh, ornament with <laughs> yeah, you sound reluctant yeah, when I, you I say feel, or, uh, wonderful. Maybe a, a bit of a personal attack at me since I haven't actually <laughs> played this mode yet. Are you are you trying to say that I'm I'm never going to get the the shiny the shiny one? If I oh, I'm definitely going to get it. it. I'm determined. It depends. Oh, uh, yeah, it depends. Yeah. If you have a very good team. Oh, I need. I, so I need. Yeah, okay, you I need, need better. Yeah. I need mm -hmm, better players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now with crossplay. Need, and no now with crossplay, I can find them. I have no excuse not to find crossplay. Uh, some. Hey, yo, for on. Help me. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, too, those shiny ones, really, they looked a little bit like the friendlies you were talking about earlier. There you go. Those are the creepy crawlers. They're based <laughs> off of this. Oh, yeah, the friendly ones. Nice, 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 nice. Friendly, creepy, friendly. creepy, friendly. Friendly. Gosh, creepy it's over crawlers. Gosh, it's overflows, Just for Brian, too. Sheesh. Yeah, just uh, the friendly ones that can just crawl up, sit on the shoulder, uh, blow up it. You, oh, can, oh, no. <laughs> you can pet them. Okay. Just pet him. Well, uh, there's an animation. You, pr great. you press so like you have, swear. Uh, so to when recap, you're just sitting there. You have an event pass uh, that's going to run throughout the entire uh, no, not really. <laughs> mode, uh, to progress and earn new uh, new oh, that would be cool. battle outfits uh, and mm -hmm, ornaments. Mm -hmm. You have the two unique ornaments you can get just by playing the mode. One for playing, but losing if you lose. Which, let's be honest. It's going to happen. And then one <laughs> right. for actually uh, succeeding and, and completing the mode successfully. So that's really cool. So a lot of a lot of reason to get in there and play. Uh, but we we have even more because this is I mean you meant the season of giving right it's it's Halloween oh my gosh there's even there. more stuff I mean, it's a season of giving now let's see uh, which is fine 
So we have even more because uh, there's another bundle that we have planned uh, for you all uh, at home uh, oh. starting on October 27th. Uh, we have five pieces of really cool, unique content uh, that you can buy for uh, for the, the you know for each each hero. Uh, there's going to be an illustrious outfit, a mythic outfit, two executions, and a uh, paired emote. Uh, the bundle is going to run for 50,000 steel, but it's also dynamic. So if you, by chance, buy any of the pieces separately, but want to go back and buy the bundle for that hero, it's going to just for 50,000 steel. Else you own. Uh, they look great, and we're even going to spend some more time uh, checking these out later on in the, the uh, in the show. So if you want to see more mm. on that, uh, but I'll be honest, this is also this bundle contains the most terrifying thing I think we've ever produced in Fronar, more than the Yorgamo. It's that darn mythic outfit that gaze of demons. If you don't believe me? Trust me, um, you, you check it out. Okay, then. It, like, turn off all your lights, put on your headphones, 3 a.m. in the morning, and just look at what we made. And I. Yeah, I'm not know, awake at 3 a.m., so no thank you. So <laughs> you'll see. You'll all see. Uh, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But, uh, Probably just you. Yeah. So, lots to look forward to, I think, is the point. Uh, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. that about wraps up the segment. So, thank you all very much uh, for joining us, and uh, thanks for. Uh, tuning in for this. Uh, All right. Let's stick around because we have a lot more because we have patch notes to go into. Oh boy. JC is going to be joining us back on the yeah, for that. I'm going to have to start so popping out videos here because it's already 10. A lot. So, uh, oh boy. A lot of patch notes. So all right. Enjoy. Here we go. Uh, so thank you all again. And uh, mm -hmm. anything you want to want to say before heading off? Absolutely. Big shout out to the team. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, big shout out. Good job, everybody. And and enjoy this awesome game mode. We're really excited to 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 get it out there. Nice. Yeah, no, I enjoy, um, good luck. I'll say good luck. Good luck. I need it's that. Hard yeah. Day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, you definitely will need luck. Again, yeah. A lot of luck. And skill. And maybe send about Zakara. Send about Zakara, Skyfall, whatever the Zanhu tier 4 is. Alright, that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.